Hello, this is Jamie Romero with Batkey Howell, and today we're going to be talking about switch statements in the Java programming language. In Chapter 3 of our Introduction to Java class, we have a simple example, we call it switch test, that demonstrates how a switch works. I guess before I dig into the, the syntax for a switch statement, I probably should mention what a, what a switch statement does. Well, we use a switch statement to compare an integer value against a, a set of specific values. When I say integer value, we actually have multiple different types of ints or integers that are allowable here. We could use something of type char, we could use something of type byte, or short, or int. Those are the legal, in, legal integer values. Actually, in Java 5, they also allowed us to make use of an enum here in our switch. And in Java 7, they should be adding the ability to switch against strings as well. Well, we are using a character, a char here. So a single letter A is stored in a variable called grade. We have the keyword switch. And in parentheses, we have the variable we're comparing against, in this case, that grade variable. In the curly braces of the switch statement, we have a series of cases. These are matches or potential matches against that variable. So we have A, B, C, D, F, and we also have a default down here at the end. The very last thing in the switch statement is the closed curly brace. Well, in our case, our grade is A, and so it's going to go ahead and match on that first entry here, case A, and I'll print out, great job. It then sees the break, and when it sees a break, it means stop comparing. Go ahead and end the switch at that point. And so the code would continue running uh, with whatever was after the switch statement. So I'll go ahead and put in a little printout here, system out println, and I'll just print out done. Just kind of have something to, to display uh, at the very end here. So let me go ahead and save this code, then we'll compile and run it. So I have my uh, command prompt up. I'll run the java c command to compile switch test.java, and then the java command to run switch test. Whoops, it looks like I've got a typo. This happens to the best of us. Uh, somehow I have an extra z in my printout. Let's go fix that up real quick. There we go. In a regular class, uh, somebody would have, would have spoken up and uh, reminded me that I had a, a problem there before I went to the compiler. But uh, we'll try that one more time. We'll compile it. Very good. And then we'll run switch test. Okay, so it prints out great job because it was, a, it was an A. And then it completes the switch and prints out the word done. Um, if I switch this to a different grade, maybe I'll make this a grade of C, we'd expect that it would match on C and print out average job here. We'll verify. Run the compiler. And there we go. Prints out average job, doesn't check anything else, and then jumps out of the, the switch. Well, one of the things that uh, is very important to know about when working with switch statements is that this break is critical to put between each one of the cases. If we don't put the break in, we say that the switch falls through. In other words, if it matches on A, It'll print out great job, but without the break, it'll just go ahead and print out good job, and it'll keep running lines of code until it sees a break. And so I've got my grade of A in there, and so if we run it, we'll see both of those two printing out since we don't have a break in place. So great job, good job is what's printing out. Well, sometimes that's a, a desirable thing. Uh, for example, perhaps we'd want to put that break back in, but have a case of A, capital letter, and also another case of A, lowercase letter. Well, that's a, a good example of why you'd want to make use of, uh, of code without a break in between each case, because you want either a capital A or a lowercase A to match. So let me save that, and we'll run the code. And now the lowercase A worked just as well as the capital A. Well, what if we put in a letter here that's not a match, a grade of Z here? Well, it won't match A, it won't match B, C, D, F. Instead, it'll end up in the default. So the default gets invoked if none of the other cases match up. And so now with that change in place, we should see it printing out illegal grade. And there it goes, illegal grade. As you might be thinking, a switch 
also could basically takes the place of an if statement. It's a it's a type of conditional. So we could have written code in here that said if grade uh, is equal to the letter A, and then in curly braces put in the printout for great job, else if it's a B, print out good job, else if, etc. And the default would in essence be an else statement at the very end. The other programming languages you might be familiar with might call this a case statement or a select statement instead of a switch statement. Uh, same general idea. It's just another kind of conditional we have in Java. Well, that concludes our video on switch statements. Thank you for watching.